change is the only constant hanging on is the only scent very profound thought with this thought i would start because change of course is very important and we have to go with the change we have to keep abreast with what changes are taking place around because cba has say has come up with new assessment scheme for board examination 2021 22 and this pertains to class 10th and 12th So let me take you further and steer you through the scheme, special scheme of assessment for board examination, twenty twenty one twenty two. Now, what is this basically? The scheme is all about the assessment, how the students would be assessed, how their results of class tenth would be, you know, arrived at. This is what. is being said here and we need to decipher it minutely get the nuances it is ko samajhna padega in detail of what it is about okay so special scheme why is it a special scheme reason being that it is specifically on, uh, for this year only the students who are in class 10th and 12th the reason for this step why CBSE has come up with the scheme is that last year throughout the year it was in classes jo chali wo online mode mein chali ab bhi most of the part jitna bhi academic session uh, 2021 22 gaya hai that is in all through online system and last year there was cancellation of class 10th and 12th boards reason being there was a tragic second wave okay so they had to the board has to cancel the exams and then they had to come up with some you know system some reliable some flexible system ki jis pe nirbhar kiya ja sake taki results bachcho ke sahi de sake to in such situations ko avoid karne ke liye ye special scheme of assessment बोर्ड लेके आई है ओके सो ये बेसिकली बहुत सारे डिस्कशंस डेलीब्रेशंस हुए ऑल्टरनेटिव बेस ढूंढे जाएंगे कि अगर सिचुएशन ऐसे ही रहती है मींस द पैंडेमिक इज वर्स इट इज इट कीप्स ऑन गोइंग ऑन दिस वे देन किस तरह हम बच्चों को उनके लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव जो उनको सिखाना है किस तरह सिखाएंगे एंड किस तरह बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन होंगे इसके बारे में ये स्कीम सारी बताती है सो वेरियस पॉइंट्स आर देयर लेट मी टेक यू एंड वॉक यू थ्रू दिस एन एज आई वाज टेलिंग यू मेनी ऑफ द स्कूल्स हैव आस्क्ड फॉर रैशनलाइजेशन ऑफ सिलेबस अब रैशनलाइजेशन का मतलब क्या है कि रिडक्शन ऑफ द सिलेबस क्योंकि ऑनलाइन क्लासेस में लिमिटेड स्क्रीन टाइम होता है तो यू कांट टेक अप द होल फुल सिलेबस देर इज रिडक्शन ऑफ सिलेबस इज वेरी मच नीडेड ओके सो अनदर थिंग इज दैट कंसर्न्स बहुत सारे प्रॉब्लम्स फेस होते हैं लाइक कईयों के पास इलेक्ट्रॉनिक गैजेट्स नहीं है to you know attend the classes connectivity issues hai effectiveness of online teaching hai so what is the solution so that is why cbse has come up with this special scheme for the year 2021 22 aur ye kya hai academic session jo aapke bachcho ka hai 2021 22 usko divide kiya jayega two terms mein Approximately 50% syllabus first term में होएगा और 50% syllabus second term में होएगा और जो first term का syllabus है उसको carry forward नहीं करेंगे there it will not be carry forward now how are they going to divide or bifurcate the syllabus किस तरह वो divide करेंगे the subject experts are looking into the interconnectivity of the concepts and topics और उसके बेसिस पे दे आर गोइंग टू कम विद इन दिस मंथ मे बी दिल गेट दिलेबस 
और रैशनलाइज ही सिलेबस होएगा रिड्यूस होएगा बोर्ड विल कंडक्ट एट द एंड ऑफ ईच टर्म द एग्जाम्स विद द विद बाइफर्केटेड सिलेबस नाउ टर्म 1 के एग्जाम नवंबर और दिसंबर में होंगे फॉर टर्म 2 इट विल बी इन अप्रैल एंड मार्च सो द सिलेबस फॉर द बोर्ड एग्जाम 2021 20, 22 रैशनलाइज किया जाएगा रैशनलाइज का मतलब है रिड्यूस किया जाएगा ताकि बच्चे पे स्ट्रेस कम हो इन डेप्थ डिटेल स्टडी भी कर सके एंड लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव जो है अकम्पलिश हो सके अचीव हो सके सो स्कूल विल ऑल्सो यूज ए ऑल्टरनेटिव अकेडमिक कैलेंडर सो ऑल्टरनेटिव अकेडमिक कैलेंडर का मतलब है कि जैसे हम लोग इन पर्सन स्कूल जब स्कूल जाते थे तो वी यूज टू हैव अ फुल फ्लैश टाइम टेबल आर्ट पीरियड एट पीरियड वेर नाउ वी हैव ओनली फाइव और सिक्स पीरियड मैक्सिमम एंड देर इज लॉट ऑफ ब्रेक्स इन बिटवीन बिकॉज स्क्रीन टाइम लिमिट किया गया है सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एन ऑल्टरनेटिव अकेडमिक कैलेंडर सो वी आर यूजिंग ऑनलाइन अकेडमिक कैलेंडर राइट नाउ और एन सी आर टी उसके लिए हमें इनपुट्स भी देगी रिसोर्सेज भी भेजेगी ताकि बच्चों को मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग वे में सिखाया जाए और ऑब्जेक्टिव अचीव किए जाए देन लेट्स कम टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट हियर जो एकेडमिक अभी तक जो भी सिलेबस कंटिन्यू हो रहा है दैट इज बेसिकली द सिलेबस विच वॉज सेंड बाई सी बी एस ई ऑन मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी बाई जुलाई एंड वी विल गेट द रैशनलाइज सिलेबस मतलब रिड्यूज सिलेबस लेकिन उस उस पीरियड तक हमें वो जो पहले वाला सिलेबस है उसको फॉलो करना है लेट्स सी वट इन स्टोर फॉर यू इन द नेक्स्ट लाइट सो here the slide emphasizes here about the internal assessment practical work project work so cbse ne stress kiya hai ki isko more jo uh, practical ya internal assessment hai isse more credible more dependable more valid banaya jayega aur wo kaise banayenge they will be sending all the criteria and how to give the marks guidelines in this regard would be announced by the board later on to ensure ki sab bachcho ko jitna wo deserve karte hain uske according marks mile as i told you earlier that 50% of entire syllabus will be in term 1 and 50% in the next term too aur first term ka jo syllabus ho gaya that will not be carried forward okay dates jo hai वो सी बी एस ई अराउंड दैट टाइम सो अ डिसेंट टाइम बिफोर हैंड दिल गिव एंड अनाउंस ओके सो मंथ इन विच द एग्जाम्स वुड बी देर टर्म वन वुड बी कंडक्टेड इन नवंबर डिसम्बर और टर्म टू के एग्जाम मार्च और अप्रैल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू में होंगे क्वेश्चन पेपर क्वेश्चन पेपर जो है वो सी बी एस ई ही प्रोवाइड करेगा बोथ द टर्म्स में एट द एंड ऑफ दिन द एग्जाम वुड गो ऑन तो सी बी एस ई वुड सेंड द क्वेश्चन पेपर अलॉन्ग विद मार्किंग स्कीम नाउ यू माइक बी वंडरिंग वॉट इज मार्किंग स्कीम सो द मार्किंग स्कीम इज द आंसर की एंड हाउ टू गो अबाउट चेकिंग एवरीथिंग वुड बी स्टैंडर्डाइज ऐसा नहीं है कि एक सेंटर में चेकिंग डिफरेंट हो रही है तो एवरी वट एवर द मार्किंग स्कीम हैज बीन सेंड बाई बोर्ड दैन बी यूज ओके और सेकेंड टर्म में इट विल बी अगेन सेंड बाई बाई द बोर्ड बट इट विल बी टू द एक्सटर्नल सेंटर वेर द स्टूडेंट्स वो गो एंड गिव द एग्जाम जब नॉर्मल बोर्ड एग्जाम होते थे तो एक्सटर्नल सेंटर में ही जाके बच्चे देते थे नॉट इन द स्कूल so most probably term 1 would be in the school and term 2 examination would be in the external center that's very clear uh, duration of the test now duration 90 minute ka test hoga and types of question like you can see at the end the last uh, point which i have covered there 
टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन क्या होंगे एमसीक्यू बेस्ड होंगे सारा जो फर्स्ट टर्म का एग्जाम है दैट विल बी ऑब्जेक्टिव एग्जाम फाइन सो एमसीक्यू बेस्ड ऑन केस बेस्ड एंड बेस्ड ऑन असर्शन एंड रीजनिंग ताकि बच्चों की रीजनिंग लॉजिकल एनालिटिकल स्किल्स डेवलप हो सके ओके देन सेकेंड टर्म का टू आवर्स का पेपर होगा एंड दैट विल बी द क्वेश्चन वुड बी दैट बी अ सब्जेक्टिव एग्जाम क्वेश्चन शॉर्ट आंसर टाइप एंड लॉन्ग आंसर टाइप होंगे ओके वट एवर द मार्क्स द स्टूडेंट्स गेट दैन विल बी एडेड टू द फाइनल स्कोर्स टू मेक द रिजल्ट कंडक्ट ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन हाउ वुड द एग्जामिनेशन बी कंडक्टेड फर्स्ट टर्म क्योंकि स्कूल में अगर होगा तो सेंट्रल सुप्रिंटेंडेंट एंड ऑब्जर्वर्स जो बाहर से आएंगे एंड दे सी एंड सुपरवाइज की एग्जाम फेयरली कंडक्ट हो रहे एंड इन द सेकेंड टर्म इट विल बी बेसिकली इन द सेंटर्स बट अगर सिचुएशन द पैंडमिक सिचुएशन इज नॉट गुड इन दैट केस नाइंटी मिनट का एम सी क्यू पेपर होगा जिस तरह फर्स्ट टर्म का पेपर हुआ था but if the situation is all everything is right then the students would go to the center and give the examinations now as i told you when there was this question mcq based on assertion and reason we all teachers are taking up i am an english teacher i'm taking 11th and 12th and i make sure that these kind of reasoning questions are there in my class at it attempted and we do it online so as to prepare the students for the board examination okay internal assessment bahut important hai pehle main class 10th ke bare mein bata dungi then i'll take uh, you through class 12 so let's take up that is the second column here internal assessment is very important so all the periodic tests maybe the weekly test and the unit test would be considered the school will announce which test they are going to take as the for the internal assessment what part and of course it would be the cbse who would be sending the directions okay now what is student en enrichment aap right hand side mein aap dekh rahe ho bacche they have sent videos and audios we take up various activities taki bacche enrich ho sake somebody is presenting the book review and one of the student is presenting a quotation and his views on the quotation so speaking and listening activities ye sare project work ye sara internal assessment mein jayega even portfolio now what is portfolio basically student will make a file of the activities the student had participated in uh, throughout the year and practical of course maths and sciences all the subject social studies everything whatever practical work or project work is given that will be included but what percentage we we'll let you know as we get the directions from the cbs uh, ye sara jo student ki profile banayi jayegi and we will collect these digital evidences jo bhi test ye bhej rahe hain these are saved by us so that we can you know justify why these marks were given to such a such student so i am making everybody all the students ready for this that please don't take your tests lightly guidelines for the internal assessment basically ki kitna percentage of what will be taken that will be released by the board in coming days so as and when it happens aapko ye bataya jayega even the parents and the students told how it will be added on additional resources board will be providing question banks and sample assessments these resources would be used by the teachers taki bachcho ko achhi tarah taiyari karwa sake for the boards okay now let me come to class 12th assessment would be on these basis end of the topic tests ya yeah, unit tests 
exploratory activities like where they are exploring the their talents means apne talent ko khoj rahe hain like videos audios bana rahe hain practicals maths sciences and other jets like psychology well school science so they are making the projects they are doing some practicals that will be counted in internal assessment okay here as well class 12th may be evidences har ek bacche ke uh, save kiye jayenge as an evidence for the final result okay and the rationalized uh, syllabus would be sent by the board and the guidelines related to what uh, how internal assessment would be there that will be sent later on by and by the board and as and when it sends hum aapko bata denge last but not the least very important here please pay heed to this that there are various situations various scenarios which the board has taken into consideration agar situation theek nahi rahi to various situation four situations they have taken kis term ko weightage zyada diya jayega kisko kam diya jayega let me take you through that this okay so in the first situation agar pandemic ki situation improve hui to students would be able to come to schools and for the term 1 and term 2 equal weightage term 1 ko and equal weightage term 2 ko plus the internal assessment okay second second scenario agar november december may exam school bacche nahi aa sake to give the board examination then what will happen is and and if the term 2 examinations are held at the centers or school then term 2 ki jo weightage hai wo increase kar di jayegi and term 1 ki because it's uh, conducted by uh, and through online or offline from home so it will be reduced okay third scenario hai ki agar march and april mein close uh, sara complete closure ho gaya but first term ke exam school ya center mein ho gaye us case mein sorry term 1 ki weightage इंक्रीज कर दी जाएगी फाइनल स्कोर डिटरमिन करने के लिए एंड टर्म टू की रिड्यूस कर दी जाएगी एंड फोर्थ सिचुएशन है अगर टर्म वन एंड टर्म टू में घर से करवाए गए तो देन क्या होगा कि इंटरनल असेसमेंट एंड टर्म वन एंड टर्म टू एंड फिर उसको मॉडरेशन किया जाएगा आई थिंक यू हैव अंडरस्टूड अ लिटिल बिट about what the special scheme of assessment 2021 22 is now you are i'm opening for the q and a session jo bhi aapke question questions hai aap please put sakte hain any questions from that matter yes children and dear parents if you have any queries related to the new assessment scheme please go ahead because ma'am will address all your queries excuse me ma'am yes ma'am first term exams would be in uh, november and december and second term exams would be in march april yes. ma'am between this ma'am we only have two months for 50% syllabus okay ma'am, it would be Then how will we manage? Ah, huh, this is a very good question. That how would you be managing? Maybe the CBSC is, you know, thinking on those lines and would be bifurcating the syllabus. The easy ones would be kept at somewhere at the back, and moreover, they are doing it in a systematic way with, you know, all those uh, interconnected topics in the uh, in one term and the second term has. those which are similar so cbsc of course does have this in mind that they will not you know burden you with that much of syllabus surely they'll think of that and when they'll rationalize and divide as well yes ma'am ma'am i wanted to ask that as cbsc has said that this november month exam would be in mcq form and mm-hmm. the time limit would be 90 minutes so ma'am uh, is there any idea about how many questions would be asked in these 90 minutes 
Okay, that will be in the coming days. It will be clear how many questions and what would be the maximum marks. They haven't yet declared. Ma'am, ma'am, uh, myself, mother of uh, Vanshika Modi. Yes, yes. I just want to ask, like uh, November, December exam, 50% of the syllabus is coming and it is uh, decided that it will be of uh, objective type. Yes. Right, ma'am. So, uh, ma'am, uh, I don't, I think, so, uh, like uh, the September exam, th that would be of the same syllabus. You'll be covering the same syllabus in that exam, no? Yes, yes. I think yes. it would be better if you conduct that exam also in MCQ based. Like yes, all yes. And we'll make based. it. We'll make it. Surely. We'll make it MCQ based fully. Learning to karlenge bache, but that won't help them in the November, December board exam. Na? I haan think haan it haan haan totally haan MCQ based, ma'am. Whether it is in the school, I, I would prefer you take you take the exams in the school and that would be better for because ma'am, November, December situation nobody can predict beforehand. But if the kids give their paper September exam in the school, at least yes. they'll have this thing in mind, but we can't, we can't uh, compromise on anything like kuch cheating or kuch idhar udhar se hum nahi, uska scope nahi hoga. They'll have that phobia in their mind that they have to prepare it very well. Yes, but yes. I feel the pattern of the paper should be the same as mm -hmm. the November and December board exam. It Man, be pattern would be the same. Pattern would be the same. Thank you for your question, a great question. And great suggestion as well that it should be conducted in the school. But yes, if the authorities, you know, the, uh, yes, Definitely the authorities that, uh, don't permit in person, yes, school cannot do yes, anything in that matter. So that right, is why these are, you know, subject to various conditions. So though right, the, these uh, September examinations would be MCQ based, for class right, 10 and 12 specifically. Right, ma'am. Yes. Yes, because uh, for the next final exam, uh, as the other child has said, there would be hardly two months left. At least yes. for this uh, set of exams, they have ample time. As yes, they know yes. it beforehand uh, in the month of July only. At least they can score very well if they do the same kind of learning uh, on MCQ based type till the month of November. It would be helpful for them, ma'am. Yes, the same yes, pattern of, of teaching is conducted. Yes, even in the class test, ma'am, uh, they need to be given ample of uh, MCQs. Yes, in the right, class test also, right. the, the, the ones they are conducting in the uh, live sessions and every day. Okay, day -to -day teaching, ma'am. So, right now, in like many of the teachers might have started sending in MCQ form. Bye for now, then shall we? Thank you, ma'am. Thank okay. you so much, ma'am. Welcome. Thank you, parents and students. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome, welcome.